cost of being in the UFC, I think uh, Jamie here would be in the UFC. Unfortunately, she ran into uh, Macy Barber uh, on Dana White's Contender Series, uh, and that was, I feel the same situation you're seeing in this fight. You know, I think a win for either fighter in this contest catapults them onto the next level. Yeah, Jamie Colleen is someone who you mentioned got some notoriety on the uh, Dana White, and then of course, uh, you know, she suffered a loss, so that kind of put that stain out there, but everybody that I've talked to around here has said, you got to watch out for Jamie Colleen tonight, but that's because a lot of people have their eye on Miranda Danger Granger, who flew all the way from Washington State and has maybe the biggest crowd of support here from all the way across the country. She may be on the fast track to the next level. Yeah, she is, and I think a win here definitely obviously helps her. Uh, not only did she come from Washington State, but I think, uh, I think Washington State came with her. Yeah, she obviously had a long trip to get here, had a long layover in Detroit, but it was told that she has the biggest amount of support here tonight. She is a uh, all-state athlete, played softball, soccer, basketball in high school. She played softball and basketball in college before she decided, this is what I want to do. And she now spends all of her time dedicating her life to this sport. An amateur, 5-0 in MMA, 5-0 in kickboxing. She's won five different belts. Now on the table. Tail of the tape with a straw weight fight, three rounds, 32 years old for Jamie Colleen, 26 years old, Miranda Granger, 5'3 is Jamie Colleen, a whopping 5'7, Miranda Granger, that's the volleyball player in her, 115 pounds, both ladies are straw weights, we got ourselves a straw weight fight. The Danger Nation is behind us, but right now, let's meet the participants with Dr. Dave Sarno. Ladies and gentlemen, the next bout of the evening is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the CFFC Straw Weight Division. This bout has been brought to us by Cage Fury Fighting Championships and is sponsored by Mode. Winning is in our nature. Now, standing to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 115.8 pounds, fighting for Henzo Gracie Philly out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Jamie Bad Mama Colleen. Now, standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 115.6 pounds, fighting for Charlie's Combat Club out of Everett, Washington, Miranda Danger Granger. The referee in charge of the action once the bell rings, Gasper Oliver. All right, it's Granger and Colleen. Colleen wearing red and Miranda Granger in white. What do you think? Fight of the night? I've been hearing that this could be the fight of the night. In fact, you know, we talked about the uh, danger nation. They're behind us. If this isn't the fight of the night, they could start coming up on us. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Set to start this straw weight bout, three five minute rounds. I talked to Daniel Gracie, one of uh, Jamie Colleen's coaches. And she says she has tremendous power in her hands or punches for a straw weight. You don't normally see that at that weight class. But she knocks girls out. She has a bunch of TKO, TKO stoppages. Jamie Conley, you mentioned the long list of things that Miranda Granger does. She has no martial arts experience in high school. She played the same volleyball track. She did cheerleading. It wasn't until after high school she decided, I'm going to go this route, so it's something you can kind of relate to, you can win something a little later like that. Oh, absolutely, I mean, if it's something you love to do, you know, do it. Right, right, nice right now, the, the height difference is, uh, is helping Miranda, but again, Jamie spun her right around, she's a strong, strong, strong weight. Yeah, you mentioned you know, the, that height difference here, Jamie Colleen really just kind of leaning in there, and Miranda Granger up against the cage. Well, she's hunting that single leg. What she, what she needs to do is run the pipe here. Uh, she does exactly that. Gets her down. Can she hold her down? Yeah, I see that's, that's an official takedown. There you go. It looked like she tried to step over to go in the mount. 
and she got herself caught in the guillotine right here. Ranger, has she is in danger, in. gets her head right out. Very she nice got it done. She was trying to lock it in there. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I, I, I say about getting your hips in there when you have a, uh, well, right now we got a potential arm bar. Miranda Granger hunting an arm bar right here. Yeah, Colleen, she's got... Colleen doing the right thing, though. She's stacking her. Uh, you try punching right there. Just worry about that arm. Get yep. yourself out of there. And there we go with the wrist placement again, too. We talked about a lot of these fights. Just trying to keep that wrist placement to keep that she's, balance. She's got to shake that arm out of there. Standing up, I think she just tapped. Yep. You got it. Wow, the arm bar got her. If she needed to stack her instead of standing up. You stand up, you're extending your own arm. And she was working out a lot. She just was very patient with that. Keep your patience to work that and to turn that move into your favor. That's an impressive one. Well, the hips and the legs were always going to be stronger than an arm. Always. Miranda Granger, you make that long trip from Washington. And that's quick work. But let's see how it was all set up. Let's take a look at the finish. And you see right here, she's in trouble. She's hunting that arm, and what happens is she stands up, she almost extends her own arm. Ah, that looked dislocated. She too. was tapping before she went to the ground. Yeah, it looked like it. It for sure looked like it. And you see right here again, she's standing up. Instead of stacking her, she taps right there. I... Yeah, she was tapping before they made it to the ground there. Yeah. Big win. Yeah. Very impressive by Miranda Granger. We might we might see a new uh, a new UFC struggle, shall we? Miranda Granger improves to five and zero. Oh. Jamie Colleen falls to four and three with a just impressive victory there for Miranda Granger. You know, I was asking before this card about people to keep an eye on possible. Fighters that can move to that next level. So far, Keshtov, Sabatini, Webb, and now Granger. All victorious tonight on UFC Fight Pass CFFC 71. We'll get the official announcement from Dr. Dave Sarnoff here of victory for Miranda Granger. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout was stopped at 2 minutes and 11 seconds in the first round. Winner by submission by way of the arm bar. Out of the red corner, Miranda Danger Granger. Miss Danger, can I call you Miss Danger? All right, we got a lot to talk about here. Uh, how do you feel right now? I feel great. I was a little mad at my coach. He slapped me before the fight and gave me a bloody nose. Oh, wow. Wow, coach. What's going on? You know, she has like 250 people that she brought with her. Let's talk about that. You came a long way. You know, you came a long way. I want you to talk to your people here when we look at the big screen and you tell me what the... Tell me about this finish. Uh, so first of all, thank you to the Danger Nation. They came out. I know a lot of them are uh, here watching. Um, the finish, I just, that's what I look for. I just look to finish any way that I can. So I know once I got a hold of that arm that it was over. Yeah, it looked like it. Uh, tell me how fast you want to move up the ladder. You're a very accomplished fighter thus far. Do you want to be more well-seasoned or are you ready for UFC? I think I'm moving up the ladder. So wherever it takes me, I'm ready to go. And um, I know God has a plan. So whatever is in the cards for me, then that's what I'm going to do. I love it, and I love all the support you have here. You came into hostile territory, and you got the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, Miranda Granger. She beat Dickie Lowe with an armbar in her fight back in 2017. We've seen the armbar from many ladies. Ronda Rousey, we've seen Holly Holm. Could Miranda Granger, Danger Granger, be the next one? Moving up to that level, she's got the support. She's got the confidence, and it appears that she could be on that track to the UFC. UFC Fight Pass, CFFC 71, 
Borgata Atlantic City, an impressive victory. The biggest injury, she got popped in the face by her coach. Yeah, how about that? That was a nice little surprise, huh? Blood trickling, but uh, no, just an impressive performance. Just very composed, and she seems focused to make that jump.